Every year on Yom HaShoah, the day of remembrance of the Holocaust and heroism, Holocaust survivors and Jewish communities sing the song Zog Nit Kein Mol, We Are Still Here. This is also known as the Partisan Song. Sadly, the Yiddish lyrics and the decline of survivors means that the song is being lost to history. Now, a new initiative by Cape Town born Eli Rabinovitz seeks to teach the song to school children across the globe, allowing them to connect with each other and their history. Recently, the youth of Cape Town, namely the Hertzler Vocal Ensemble representing United Hertzler Schools, led the partisan song for the community in the first part of Yom HaShoah ceremony. They were introduced to the song, though, a few weeks before, when Eli Rabinovitz initiated the partisan song project. And the pupils participated in a history lesson at school where they sang the song and they learnt it in Yiddish, Hebrew and English. And this was relayed to about six countries all over the world. The same thing was done today, this morning, but only with a bigger audience around the world. And the pupils led the singing of the partisan song. Thereafter, it was wonderful to see how this project has developed and pupils from around the world on a live link-up were able to participate and they sang the partisan song in their own way, in Russian, in English, in Hebrew and in Yiddish. And I think that this has brought our youth together from all over the world. They've become aware that there are people all over the world, Jewish youth, who are now taking it upon themselves to learn the partisan song so that there's continuity. And I think that for the survivors of the Shoah all over the world, this is one of the most important things. I've traveled a lot to Lithuania and Poland the last seven years, every year, and I blog. I like to share my photographs, mainly photographs, with people. So people, I've got a fan club out there who, who watch what I do. And I blogged on a story of Hanukkah. So there was December 2016 about a, a, a class that I do a Skype class with in Lithuania. No Jews in the town, but it was a very important Jewish town. It was called Kedan. And the school teacher and I connected a few years ago and we do like little sessions where I took the class on Skype. And this year in 2016, I had done a video um, with this kid and we did live, uh, um, it was called, you know, Maratsu for, for Hanukkah. And that kind of went a little bit viral in my world. And King David obviously saw that. Craig Kasev, Rabbi Kasev, saw this and he thought, you know what, this guy's got like a different style. And he saw I was coming to Johannesburg. So this was January 2017. I was coming in February. And he wrote to me a little email and he said, we're looking for somebody that can come and talk to our kids who sing Zogni Kamal every year at West Park Cemetery. And they don't understand the meaning of the words and you know the, and the significance in the context so i started putting stuff together at the same time i'd had some connection with Ort, and i thought it would be a good thing to try and hook up hertzler with these schools as a, a a side issue but also for my talk at king david i'd asked the schools in the former soviet union to provide me some little bits and pieces and what did they do they produced a video and so i got these videos back from the Oort schools, independently of, of Oort, I worked directly with the schools, and I put them into a compilation, which I showed here and also at King David. And then the schools were live and we had a, a, a conversation. We, we kind of had a trial last year where we linked up with, uh, I think it was six or seven schools in Eastern Europe and the Balkans. And um, we just spoke about the partisan song. 
So what we've subsequently done at Hertzlia, where we have a pretty uh, broad Holocaust studies program with our grade nine class, we have taken the partisan song and we use it as a symbol of Jewish resistance to Nazism. Um, you know, the kids tend to get a lot of Holocaust studies over the years at Herzliya, but they tend to see it as camps and, and dead bodies and Jews suffering. What they don't understand always is that there was an incredibly powerful resistance movement to Nazis in pockets around Europe. And of course, the Jewish partisans and stories like uh, the Bilski brothers are fantastic to incorporate into their understanding of the Holocaust and into the understanding that there was this resistance on the one hand. And secondly, that we need to remember that as part of our remembrance of our history as Jewish people and as kids in a Jewish school, uh, which is absolutely significant. We are extremely proud to be introducing our school to you this morning. We are the grade nines of Hertzlia Middle School and Ben and I both serve on our school student council. I am head of the environment committee and he is head of the serious committee, which encourages intellectual discussion and debates. We have been studying the causes of World War II in history and we are now about to study the Holocaust and of course, the partisans. On behalf of our grade nine year group and the rest of our school, we would like to thank you so much for connecting with us this morning. Stay in touch. I am Alana and I am uh, from uh, Shalom Aleichem Ord High School and it is located in, uh, Vilnius in Lithuania capital city, Vilnius. Our school has about 400 students. We uh, learn all the usual subjects like English, geography, history, uh, our native language, uh, Russian, uh, but we also learn uh, Jewish history and traditions and uh, just Hebrew language. Uh, hello friends, I'm Mikhail and I'm studying in ninth grade. Nice to see you. As for our school, it is located in Kiev, Rusanska district. It is really pictures in spring, summer, perhaps not now. Uh, we have minus 10 outside. We are proud of our educational complex as it gives us a lot of opportunities to study, to develop, and to investigate our world. This morning, uh, we, we had an absolutely amazing hour where our grade nines were able to chat literally online at the same time we used Google Hangouts and uh, we connected with seven schools from ex-Soviet Union, present-day Russia, we went into St. Petersburg this morning, we went to Moscow, we went into the Ukraine, and I, we were absolutely amazed because, I mean, there were these kids sitting in art schools, Jewish schools, Jewish kids, talking to our kids about their study program in these schools where Hebrew and Jewish studies is such a big part of the program. They were also learning about the partisan song. They sang the partisan song to us, we sang the partisan song to them, and it was just a really magical moment. We want young people to engage with it and to, if you want to call it, carry the flame from the survivors. So one of my arguments is that my generation hasn't been so good in doing that and, and especially in places like here where we didn't really ident identify directly with the Holocaust. But you know, since Spielberg and whatever, more and more people have seen that they did have family and there are stories. So this is a story about a song, but it's almost like a symbol. It's a, a story of a poem that became a song, that became an anthem. They even use the word hymn. And I'm passionate about the fact that this will be something that once the survivors have gone, which is around the corner, there will be somebody that can carry it forward. And, and you heard those kids today, both at Hertzlia and here at Highlands House, and how they identify with it. Never say that you are going your last way. Though lead filled skies above, blot out the blue of day. The hour for which we long will certainly appear. The earth shall thunder neath our tread that we are here. Mir sein and door. Yiddish, for some, they would say that it's a dying language. But in Cape Town, 
like in many parts of the USA, it is really a language that is thriving because people are taking a great interest in learning Yiddish to remember their history and their roots. And for the children of Herzliya School to learn Yiddish is so important. And the partisan song is in Yiddish. So when they sing it, they're learning about what it means. They're learning a lot of their history. And this was shared today at Highlands House where we came and we sang the partisan song for the residents together with Miriam Lichterman and her son, Kanta Ivor Lichterman, who was visiting Cape Town and we all participated together. So this was a very moving morning here at Highlands House and for the United Hertzlia Schools where we continued the Partisan Song project. And I appeal to everyone all over in South Africa to learn the Partisan Song. It is so important for us to remember where we came from and the amount of survivors in South Africa is getting less and less. So we need to continue where the music and the words have meaning for them and we can continue that into the present and into the future. Never say you are going your last way. So let the skies above blot out the blue of day. The hour for which we long will certainly appear. The earth shall thunder. Beneath our tread that we are here.